guys welcome back to another one this one is going to be a short video we're just going to see at maybe 10 15 feet the difference between a rifle barrel and the smoothbore we're not using a 12 or a 20 gauge we're using the oddball 32 gauges this one is rifled and that's a smoothbore identical loads should i haul 12 grains of long shot a winchester double a 28 wad because they fit 32 and five eighth ounce of seven and a half shot the load i will be firing is the same exact thing yep josh is taking the smooth bore i'm taking the rifled all righty guys i've got the smooth bore to start this off out of the 32 rifle versus smooth we got five eighth ounce of seven and a half shot we're at roughly 10 yards he's unlisted the rest of the data previously in the video by now so i guess let's see what happens <laughs> hey that's nasty that's a really good pattern yeah. Paul looks fine. Sure does. That's nasty. That knocked a squirrel off a limb. Wait till you guys see this. Which is now. Five eighth ounce of seven and a half shot. That did already have some number fours in it from a test last week, but right here is the 32. And Josh can just about cover that with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great pattern that gun has a full choke if you guys don't know 20 i mean uh 32 gauge is 526 bore this gun does have a mirror bore but they're smoking it right now anyway it's got a full choke it's measuring 490 beautiful old stevens small frame it's a good one sure is and this one is an h and r 32 gauge special has a scope on it because it is rifled. We use this for slugs and it's actually really accurate with slugs. But exact same load Josh fired. Same distance, roughly 10 yards. I'm gonna aim for high middle, right, so what I mean. And there is no pattern right there. Once again, the haul looks just fine. <laughs> I was hoping it'd leave a donut, but well, it didn't. You can see the seven and a half shot right here versus the fours right here. That's, it is nothing like that right there. Nope, it's horrendous. It is literally all over the paper. I would see. I was hoping it would really leave a donut a shot, but it didn't. But still, either way, that's it's downright terrible. But that's what you'd expect out of a rifled barrel. And the same thing applies to both 12 and 20 gauge. And there are rifled 16s out there too. Uh, buckshot and birdshot is about useless out of these. 